Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Lieberman. I'm a psychiatrist, a clinical professor of psychiatry, and the SVP of mental health at Hims and Hers. Today, I'm going to answer your questions submitted on social media about mental health, psychotherapy, and medication management. Think of this as your one-on-one guide to mental health. Psychotherapy is talk therapy, and yeah, it can be a little bit scary. In the beginning, you're sharing your deepest thoughts and ideas with someone who is really a stranger. But psychotherapy can be a wonderful experience. What's special about it is you can tell your therapist almost anything, and there's no judgment, no consequences. When you're in therapy, you talk about your deepest ideas, your feelings, the things that are troubling you. And being able to talk about this in an open way, in a safe environment, can be transformative. Specific psychotherapies have been developed for depression, different forms of anxiety, social anxiety disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, PTSD, as well as eating disorders and other psychiatric conditions. Psychotherapy for many illnesses, especially when they're mild or moderate, seems to work about as well as medication management, especially if you have a good therapist. When choosing a therapist, the single most important thing is that it's got to be someone that you feel comfortable with. There are many different kinds of mental health medications to treat a wide variety of mental health conditions. And it can be a little bit intimidating to think about taking a psychiatric medication. I think the reason for this is that psychiatric medications act on the brain. And the brain is the organ in our body that makes us who we are. And so it's frightening to think, wow, if this changes my brain functioning, maybe it's going to change my personality. Actually, it's the opposite. It's mental illness that changes your personality. When you're depressed or anxious, you're just not your normal self. You're not who you are. And friends and family members may even say, hey, it looks like something's wrong. You're just not yourself today. Medication reverses the symptoms of these illnesses and returns you to your normal state allowing you to perform at your full potential. Now, medications can have side effects, and these can also be of concern, but for most people, they're pretty mild, but I think it's very much worth giving it a try. Because the brain is the most unique organ in your body, mental health treatment has to be very, very personalized. So it's gonna be different for everybody. The most important thing is talk to a provider who knows about these things. They can work with you, talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each option, and decide which one is going to be best for you. Whichever one you choose, the most important thing is not to suffer in silence. There are great treatments for mental illnesses, and you should talk to a provider to find out what's going to be best for you. There's individual therapy, group therapy. You can do therapy in person, or you can do it remotely. Among the most well-known and best studied are cognitive behavioral therapy. That takes a look at potentially maladaptive thought patterns and helps you correct them. And when you correct your thoughts, oftentimes feelings and behaviors follow. Perhaps the most famous kind of psychotherapy is psychodynamic therapy. Sigmund Freud was a pioneer in that. Psychodynamic therapy explores the unconscious mind, a mysterious part of the mind that we're generally unaware of can have a profound effect on our feelings and behaviors. And finally, there's interpersonal therapy. That examines a very important relationship in your life, looks at what's good about it, looks at what's bad about it, and works on optimizing it. Optimizing one relationship often has a domino effect and leads to better relationships throughout your life. There are a number of different classes of mental health medications. The most popular, most commonly used one being the antidepressants. Antidepressant medications work by modifying special chemicals in the brain called neurotransmitters, the most popular one being serotonin. Antidepressants, as their name suggests, are used to treat depression. They're also used to treat anxiety and some other mental illnesses. One of the most important things to remember about antidepressant medication is that it does take time to work. There are also anti-anxiety medications. Now, it's important to note that the best anti-anxiety medication is actually the ones in the class we call antidepressants. But we also have some that are specifically for anxiety, 
and they belong to a class of medications called benzodiazepines. Benzodiazepines have higher risks than some other classes of psychiatric medications. They can be addictive, they can worsen depression and anxiety, and a recent study even found out they may increase the risk of suicide. Now, they do have high risks, but sometimes their use is going to be appropriate. Usually, though, it's best to use them for just short periods of time. Probably the most important thing to know is that medication takes time to work. A lot of people will take it for a few days and say, geez, I'm not feeling anything. Stop it and never find out what this medication could have done because it actually takes weeks, sometimes even more than a month to really do everything it's capable of doing. Another thing to remember is that all medications can cause side effects. With psychiatric medications, in many cases, the side effects are worse the first few days that you take them, and then they resolve over time. If there are side effects that don't resolve, a lot of times your provider can talk to you about ways to manage them, sometimes even make them go away. Now, if a medication is not working, it's important to talk to your provider about it. It may be that you need a different dose. It may be that you need a different medication. It can take some patience, but if you try medications until you find the one that works best for you, it can have a revolutionary effect on your life. Finally, it's important to remember that you should never stop a psychiatric medication without talking to your provider first. Some psychiatric medications can have negative effects if they're stopped abruptly. It's usually best to taper down slowly, and your provider can help you with that so that you'll have the best possible experience. Thanks for watching. I'd love to answer any additional questions that you may have. Drop them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode.